Well, welcome to uh, the Catch and Cook part one. Um, I've done about three separate videos today, so it's all very confusing. But we're just um, filleting these whitings. Um, so we're going to do a fish pie with these. We've just been out, out there today for a bit of fun. We've had some dabs, some whiting. Um, and the ones which are deep hooked, we just keep them and um, put them in a big fish pie. So I'm going to show you how to make a nice fish pie out of whiting. All we do to, to get them ready is just take the head off, take the guts off, and then just cut a couple of inches of the tail off and then I'll cook that whole in the oven and then we'll peel the meat off which I'll show you a bit later on. So thank you for watching this video. This is a catch and cook fish pie. Right, well, you are in my kitchen. You might hear a dog in the background. You might hear some odd noises, but just ignore that. So we're gonna make a whiting fish pie. The ingredients we're gonna need are some white sauce. You can make your own, but I don't intend to. Some cheese, some potatoes, and of course, your chosen fish. Now for me, that is whiting, which I've caught today. Now, the first part of my fish pie is to cook the fish. Now, I'm gonna line a couple of baking trays with tin foil. And it's up to you, you can add some butter in there, some thyme, some herbs, but I'm not gonna worry today because I'm gonna concentrate on the mash being really nice and delicious. And with those, you just wanna layer all the fish and sort of have it in a little parcel. And put it in the oven at about 200 degrees for around about 30 minutes. Now, I quite like a fishy fish pie. A lot of people have put way too much mashed potato in it um, and, and it ruins it and you can't taste the fish. So I like to have a real thick layer uh, of about, I suppose it's about two inches of, uh, of fish if you can. As you can see, just like that. I'm not, so I'm not adding anything to those at the minute. Just gonna, you can could add a little bit of lemon. Don't think I've got any, but so I'm not gonna worry. I'm gonna make it really simple. Just pop it like that. Little parcel, so you've got a bit of air in there. There you go. As long as it's covered, just saves the fish from drying out. And pop them in the say in the oven for about half an hour. Now, while our fish is cooking, we're gonna go and peel uh, some potatoes uh, to make our mash, which is gonna go on top of the fish. So basically, we'll have a fish layer. Uh, that will have a lot of white sauce in it, some cheese and some different herbs. And then we'll have our sort of thinner mashed potato layer on top. Now, what I like to do with the mashed potato, how to make my mashed potato, is I have a very big uh, microwave tub and I'll chop those up into sort of four pieces per potato, pop them in there, bit of water in that, and about 10 minutes in the microwave, and uh, once they're soft, obviously you can, you can mash them and you can uh, make mashed potato with them because they'll go nice and soft. Right, so I've peeled the potatoes, and as I said, I'm just gonna chop them up into about four bits, just so they're a bit smaller, just so they cook a little bit quicker in that microwave dish. Nice and easy. Right, so while those potatoes are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and uh, grate some cheese. I'll probably use about that big block. It is a big block, and, but I do like my cheese. And uh, I'm bulking at the gym at the minute, so yeah. Big bit of cheese, big bit of grating. Get that done. Good doggies. Right, so the potatoes are now done. I gave them a little bit of a chomping up with the knife and I'm just gonna take all the water out of there and then when they get to mashing them, I'm gonna show you what I add to the mash just to make it that bit better. Right, so with the mashed potato, we're gonna go and add a lot of paprika because I do like a little bit of spice. I will put, would put some chili in it, but my other half isn't so keen. So paprika's just a little bit less uh, spicy, I suppose. It's a little bit easier to digest if you not into your spice. So that's that's paprika. Bit of onion salt. I 
I like to add enough flavours to be honest. I don't um, don't be shy. And then mix herbs. Again, add add a good amount there. And it should look a little bit like that. And then what I do tend to do first is just mash it up a little bit with the herbs without adding anything else yet. So get your get your masher and just mash it up vaguely. And then when it's a little bit, once you sort of mix the herbs in, you're confident the herbs are nice and mixed in, just go ahead, handfuls of your cheese. Just make sure you save just about a third just for the topping. And then we'll mash that in. Um, don't add the milk until the end because the problem is, is uh, if you add the milk at the beginning, it cools it down and you want a real hot mash to be able to melt all that cheese in into the potato. I see some people like really creamy mash, so you can always add more cheese, more uh, milk, you know, make it your own. You can really experiment. I'm just giving you a rough idea here of what I do. There we go, we're starting to get a nice bit of, nice big form there of mashed potato with no lumps in it. Then I'll go ahead and add a little bit of milk. Now, because we've still got to put this in the oven, you'll find even if your mash is a little bit wet, the evaporation in the oven will, will remove that. So don't worry if you add a little bit extra. But there we go, look at that. That is looking quite nice, if you ask me. All right, I'm happy that's, that's enough. Now, my fish has been in the oven for about 25 minutes, so I've got about another five minutes to wait, and then we can de deconstruct the fish and uh, and get going on compacting down our fish pie. Right, so the fish is now done mostly. It's been in there for about 25 minutes, so it'll definitely be done. Keep the oven on, because we're gonna go, this fish is gonna go back in the oven in a minute with a load of mash. So there's our whiting, and there's our whiting. Now you'll notice here I've got a glass dish and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick at the fish. Let's get a bit of more light over here. Right, so when picking off the uh, the whiting and stuff, just, just go along the bone and just pick off the white fish. You're not going to get all the fish, but the most important part really is you try and not and get any bones because the bones do tend to ruin um, what is a nice, a nice nice sort of dish really. Now the good thing is with smaller whiting is the bones are actually really small and you can actually eat them and it doesn't really matter. Um, so just bear in mind once you take the main spine bone out there is a lot of pin bones but that really doesn't matter too much because you can actually eat those. So we're just going to keep, keep going along getting this fish out. You can see what I'm doing sometimes use a little teaspoon that can be quite good as well but not a little knife and fork and just pick at it. Obviously, if you really want no bones in it, let it cool down, pick all the bones out, and then you can do your next layer. So this is gonna take me a, probably a good 10 minutes because I'm just gonna keep going through and picking a few bones out as well. Um, and then we'll get back to you once we've got all the fish into the bottom. Now we're just deboning it just that little bit more. If, if you've got kids and stuff, or if you've got people which do mind eating bones, it is better just to pick at it, which is what we're doing now. So my other half's just uh, so going through. Just Jesus, picking out some Jay, of the bones. Jay, you trying to kill me? <laughs> right, so we've done our fish. You can see it's real thick. I don't mess around. I've got my air del terriers running around everywhere. I don't mess around with the fish. I like a real good fish pie. Um, and all we're gonna do now is gonna make the white sauce. So. I'm lazy, I use just Bisto stuff, it's not complicated. You get four big teaspoons, one, Table. two, three, four, oh I forget their tablespoons. Lots of it. It's meant to be 250ml of hot boiling hot water but 
Just gonna make a bit of guesswork. It's gonna be about there, I think. <laughs> oh, what are you all laughing at? <laughs> I think Delilah nicked the cutlery. Unbelievable. <laughs> Oi, get down. Dear oh dear. It's not a professional kitchen, this one with dogs in it, but there we go. It's a household kitchen, and that's what you're getting. Right, so as you can see, we'll bring, the, bring you down to the white sauce. You can see that's nice and if you want it a bit thicker, you can always add a bit, but that's about right. It doesn't need to be really thick because that will evaporate a little bit. I would make that thicker, well, personally. We're not going to. We're going to okay. go for it. All right, we're going to pour it in. Might even just have to add a little bit more. You know what? We're going to do another round of white sauce. So, Who needs a spoon, who eh? Need, who needs a spoon? Throw a bit more in. Throw a bit more hot water in there. We've got a lot of fish, so we're going to want quite a lot of white sauce. Mix all that in. There you go. So it's a bit, bit watery. Let's have a little bit more. Oh, we might as well use all that. That'll be alright. That's better. And then we're going to pour it all over. There we go. That's better. Then what you want to do is just make sure that you coat all the fish in the nice white sauce. There we go. Lovely. Lovely job, Jackie. Those of you which watch Friday Night Dinner will know that phrase. Right, so once all that white sauce is mixed in, we're just going to pat that down. And then we're going to go to our mashed potato that we made earlier. Right, and then we're going to layer it up. I tend to just try and sort of do it so it doesn't sort of sink. Um, oh dear. So, obviously, keep your hands nice and washed. I'll make flat patties and just kind of pop it on top, like that. You'll get a little bit coming out on the edge. Don't worry about that too much. Get all that out, there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do some peas with this as well, but I don't need to teach you how to make peas. That's what I'm going to have it with. You can have it with a salad or anything, really. Here we go. Cover it all up. We've got a little bit more to do with the edges. Don't try and make this look too pretty. This is just... So any, any, you'll know um, any cooking that I do and I post on my YouTube is at, is proper home cooking style. Mess nothing, no tarts, tarty editing, no rubbish. Just get it all on and uh, get it made. Right, so that'll do. And then with our remaining cheese, we'll just have a little sprinky, sprinky on top. There we go. Look at that, lovely. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, add a little bit of mixed herbs just on top. That needs to go in the oven for about 20 minutes. Right, so the fish pie should be done. So let's go and have a little look at what it looks like. It's been in there for about 20 minutes. Dog's gonna to want to get his nose right in there. Clean you up. Woo. There we go. Certainly smells good, and it certainly looks good. There we go. So that is one bubbling hot fish pie. Get that oven off. Get that electricity bill down. You want to see my electricity bill? This is how much it's costing me to make you a film. <laughs> what do you mean, no, me? It's I mean, my other half pays for it. Me. Um, right, so let's have a little. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. I might even use a spoon. It might be a bit easier to get it out. Right, let's get a nice big, big chunk of that. There you go, Tessa. That. That lovely white sauce, all that nice fish. So you can see why I don't fancy having too much potato. I like a good, good fishy pie, nice and protein like. Get in there, delicious. 
And then I've got loads there for tomorrow as well. So when I come back from the gym tomorrow, I can got to go and help Ben out tomorrow, do his aqua dock as well. So we might be needing that. Nice there we go. Cheesy top. Look at that. You want some more cheesy top? Yeah. Dear, oh dear. That's, yeah, that looks good. Lovely. Well, well, I hope you enjoyed that caption cook. That is uh, a couple of hours old whiting onto a plate within the, yeah, couple of hours. So nice, simple recipe for you to follow. And obviously, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe and uh, have a little look back at the fishing video of when we caught fish. <laughs>